Hi folks, this is David Giuliano from Stonehearth Capital Management with a February 2016 Educational Economic Update. In this video, we'll talk about some of the economic headlines that influenced markets in the last month and give you some insight into what they could mean for you. Please stay tuned at the end for a required disclosure statement. January was another volatile month for stocks. Investor sentiment turned negative on more bad news out of China and plummeting oil prices. Let's talk about some of the month's major headlines. A first look at fourth quarter economic growth showed us that we hit a soft patch in the final months of 2015. Gross domestic product grew just 0.7%, which is a disappointing drop from the 2% we saw in the third quarter. Fourth quarter GDP growth will be revised two more times as data comes in, and it's possible that the final result will be more optimistic. However, we're not expecting a ton of improvement. So what was the cause of the slowdown? We can attribute a lot of the drop to lower business spending and weak global spending. However, the data also shows us that the U.S. consumers aren't spending the extra money they're saving from gasoline. Does the slowdown mean that we're heading for more problems? Probably not. It's not great news, but we went into negative territory back in the first quarter of 2014 and bounced back rapidly. In other news, the Federal Reserve met in the last week of January and chose not to raise interest rates again. That's not a big surprise given the challenging economic and market conditions, but some experts don't think the Fed made the right call. With so much uncertainty in markets, a rate hike could give investors more confidence in the economy. On the other hand, inflation remains low and economic growth is, is modest, so the Fed might hold off on further rate increases for months. Earnings season kicked off in January and the overall picture of one, is one of lower earnings and lower revenues. That's not a surprise because we know that American firms are facing major challenges, including a strong U.S. dollar and weak oil prices. But more than two-thirds of the firms that have reported so far have been able to beat their earning targets, which tells us that managers are doing a good job of managing expectations. On the positive side, a gauge of manufacturing activity blew away expectations and came in at the highest reading since last January. Manufacturing a backbone of economic activity in many parts of the U.S. seem frozen after several reports show that factories struggle with keeping up with output. This new data is a refreshing change and we're hopeful about manufacturing this year. That's it for the February Educational Economic Update. Once again, this is David Giuliano with Stonehearth Capital Management signing off for the month of February 2016. Please remember that nothing we talk about here is a recommendation. If you'd like to discuss your personal financial situation, please give us a call at 978-624-3000. We'd be happy to talk to you. Thank you.